Deputy Liz McManus. Uh, I'd like to share my time with Deputy Arthur Morgan and Deputy Lucian Shortall. Agreed. Thank you. Mr. Hannafin said this is a good day to raise this issue, and I agree with her. Uh, today, I actually received a letter from Minister Hannafin stating that an old age pensioner in my county was being refused a fuel allowance because his pension exceeded €100 Euro per week. Today, too, is the day when the government has proposed to change the law to protect the wealthiest in our society. Bankers who recklessly pandered to the greed of property developers. In this motion now, Fine Gael, uh, with our support, seeks to protect and safeguard the poorest and the elderly, like my constituent, who can't afford to keep warm this winter. So the policy of Fianna Fáil and the Greens is clear. Um, if the Minister Deputy would allow Power, Deputy McManus to make a contribution without interruption. Because we've got us into this situation, we have to support a measure to protect the public interest. That does not mean that what you have done or the way of you, you have done it is commendable. The reality of what's, the decisions that were made today and last night are that multi-millionaires in this country are being looked after. What they, what they want, they, what they want, uh, what they want. Well, the deputy would excuse me. I'd ask ministers, neither of whom uh, were interrupted during their contribution, to please allow uh, deputy to, to, to make, to make, uh, if you allow the chair to make, to be the arbiter of, of what's in order and what's not, and to allow the deputy to make uh, her contribution without interruption, please, deputy McManus. I'll repeat. The policy is clear of Fianna Fáil and Green Party. Powerful multimillionaires get what they want, but the poor and the elderly are denied what they need. If ever there was doubt for the need for change in Irish politics, we have proof, pro proof positive today. And I think there were many people who hoped with the new configuration of parties in this government that we might see a fairer and more compassionate kind of politics. Well, I imagine they're disillusioned now.